So thank you, Dave, for the, um, to our producer for the introduction, and I'll tell you why, but my name is Carmel Ann and I'm from Solfully Guided. We are doing a series on gifted children. So we were meant to have Stephanie, the mini medium, come in today. Sadly, um, she's unable to make it, but we really look forward to having her back um, when, she's, when she's available. So um, I'll be blunt. Um, I'll be upfront and straight. I'm having a really challenging day. I'm feeling off emotionally and um, there's some, you know, I just wish I could give myself a reading like I give to someone else. I really need that right now. Um, but I can't remain objective to my own feelings. So, you know, not every day is a, a great day and um, today is a challenge for me emotionally, but I wanted to show up. I've committed to this series and I've committed to the show. So um, here I am. So please bear with me. I managed to take some notes before um, about, about four minutes, four to seven minutes before the show. So um, with the Gifted Children series, what I'll be doing today is because I feel um, <clears throat> quite flat and emotionally challenged. I am okay, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the pinch of, of emotions right now. So next week, we're going to have a guest appearance coming in. We're having another show host. So the amazing Vanessa Larkin, who big thank you for, for showing so much excitement and courage, giving me so much courage and confidence to be able to present one show of Gifted Children to be able to develop it as a as a series. So thank you, Vanessa. You can find Vanessa on larkinsreadings.com. That's larkinsreadings.com. And you can also find her on Larkin Psychic Medium Spiritual Interpreter, which is her Facebook page. Now, last week, Stephanie Mini Medium spoke of some really important things and some of them were actually going to develop them into a um, whole show. So Stephanie spoke of, if you haven't watched it, go and watch last week's show, but she spoke of having difficulty connecting with people and fitting in and often feeling misunderstood as a gifted child. She mentioned primary school was harder and I can agree with this. I, I actually find a lot of similarities between what Steph had experienced in my own in my own experience. So it was really amazing um, as an adult to to realize that because I I yeah it's um the themes emerging were very interesting and I learned a lot from Stephanie last week. So Stephanie mentioned um, to encourage not discourage a powerful statement, and this will be touched on in a future series, uh, in a future show on the series. Stephanie also mentioned a very strong and powerful piece of advice, which is don't tell kids they're crazy. She spoke of the possibility of being a gifted child that, uh, and the potential to experience depression and anxiety. This is something I think we need to cover on a future show as well. So we look forward to having Stephanie join us again when she can. Um, I can't express that enough. And, and maybe we'll do some of those informative series on the top, topic she's raised with us. Um, the Gifted Children series. So today is an informative session of where the Gifted Children series will be at. But the Gifted Children series is going to cover so much. But here's a taste of some of the topics we will cover. So tune in either live week by week at 1.45 p.m. Uh, Melbourne time. That's on a Thursday if you're in the U.S. And my producer might need to help me here. It's 9.45 EST in the USA. And that's on the Wednesday. So with the Gifted Children series, I'm going to provide some specific examples and my own memories of moments that I psych that I psyched, psychic, psychicked, it sounded better when I wrote it. <laughs> some examples of when I psychicked out my way out of some challenging situations as a child and an adult before I knew I was gifted. So some of them are really funny um, and amazing. And some of them are, um, yeah, a bit challenging. And um, um, it makes a lot of sense now, but at the time I thought, what? Ah, so, <laughs> so they'll be covered in a few shows. 
We'll also talk about how to know if your child is gifted. For any parent, we don't imagine everyone is spiritual and knows everything about everything. So we'd love to educate you on some pointers and specific examples um, to share with you that happens with our own children or um, children have come across and actually really practical advice on how to pick up if your child is gifted. So to be able to support you and not feel that you have to learn everything about everything to be able to support your children in the best way you can. So that'll be really helpful for parents and if you're comfortable for your children to watch. Um, so what else? Yep, so I'll be providing, if I haven't said real life experiences of myself, yes, I did say that. Um, we'll talk about the wins and challenging parts of being a gifted child as well, which comes onto a, onto a few series and probably some help from other hosts as well from what they've experienced because we really want to get um, a lot of detail and information to be able to support you your family or your child or your interest if you're interested in this topic. So I think the more people that um, are comfortable to come forward is actually the, is the best for our show rather than just being my experience. Um, and it will be interesting to see what other themes emerge that we've all experienced um, individually. Um, and yeah, those themes that are emerge as we look at the trend the trajectory of being gifted for everyone. Now, this is a big one. Oh, I've never been comfortable to do this. So for the very first time in my life, I've only told a handful of people, I'm going to share my experience of astral traveling. I, for real life, astral traveled, and I just could, I, I still can't wrap my brain about the reality that, this is a real thing that, oh, and I say what I know scientifically defies what I, or what I can do spiritually defies what I know scientifically. And I just, so I'm going to get my confidence up to actually share what I did and how, I don't know how I did it. It just happened. So I'm going to share that because I remember it as if it were a movie and um, I remember it very clearly because it shocked the gifts right out of me after that. So that was the defining moment where I stopped. I identified as not being gifted after that. So I was somehow did that and then somehow blocked everything out. It was, um yeah, it was a lot for a child. And that is the first time I, I'm going to publicly say that. So that's outside of my comfort zone and my depth, but um, I can't deny the reality that it happened and now it makes a lot more sense. And I, I wish I could do it, but I haven't grasped that yet. So um, when Stephanie says encourage, don't discourage, I guess you don't want to force your child to be more gifted, but you also want to encourage them because I wish I could connect with what I did. Life would have been a lot easier if I'd embraced myself as I was um, and understood that and had you know a series like this to watch or my parents did because we don't want to shut ourselves down and one day we might want those tools, those gifted tools in our toolbox as a part of our life. But sometimes I haven't been able to revert back to what I could do as a child. Um, hopefully one day I can, but I'll be exploring and sharing about my astral travel journey. And we're also going to offer a Q&A session or maybe a few. So if any parents, people that are interested, any anyone watching, um, any, if your children have questions, if anyone has a question, please head over to my website, selflyguided.com, and you'll be able to find a variety of ways to contact me, whether it be Facebook, um, I don't use Instagram a lot, but Facebook or email, um, there's all the ways you can contact me there. For those local, you can text me. Please send through any questions or topics that you would like covered on the show so we can attend to your needs and be able to answer them um, for you on a, on a show series. I'm happy to have the questions um, that you raise and send to me as um, anonymous questions if you prefer, but we'd like to put you at, on the focus of some of these shows, our audience um, and your needs as well. So, um, this series will be running for a little while, a lot longer than I thought. There is just 
so much to cover and I'm I I think as we explore this and we go through shows and we ask more show hosts and um, gifted people to come forward I think it's going to open up a whole heap of other topics that I didn't even think of so um, I'm really excited about that and um, we'll also include some advice to children and parents and we welcome any topics that you'd like covered so which I already said now I would love to invite more A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV hosts so if you are interested please reach out to me and we can arrange that um, I think the more people the better um, the more we can deliver this series to you in an informative way, in a heartfelt, heartfelt way. So um, we, you know, we remove at least a portion of the challenge that your child may face or um, the struggles that they may feel like they're alone and, and um, actually to be heard and seen and acknowledged for what they can do and find a sort of bridge between what they can do and who they are without that limiting, you know, like Stephanie mentioned, primary school challenges, which I can really, really relate to. The, the heart of my challenge commenced in primary school as well. And um, I would have loved a different experience. And, you know, I may have not comprehended a series like this myself as a child, but had the information been there to my parents how to pick up you know, these points that um, you can realise the child is gifted, it would have been really useful. And I think um, we need this in the world and we need this for our children. Um, it's been, um, it's been a journey um, as I became an academic and a high functioning substance user. I've studied so much and there is truth a lot of truth to what I've studied and understood academically, but there is also room for and a lot of truth in spirituality. And rather than, you know, put the two perspectives at war, I found a way for Soulfully Guided to complement them and to join them in. So you'll you'll find a lot of my readings, I'll talk about cross analysis, I'll talk about st statistical probability and things like that. So um, I really... I've developed my style, but I would have loved to do that, done that sooner had I been aware of all of this that our series is going to cover. So thank you for so much for watching. Thank you for being here and we'll see you again next week. Same place, same time. <laughs>